Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be taking you guys with me as I set up my 2024 mid-year bullet journal. First things first, I had to unbox my bullet journal because I ordered it from the store called Pothaholic. I actually received this package about six months ago, so the clips that you're seeing right now are actually um, from last summer. Uh, I'm so grateful that I ordered this back then itself though because uh, I checked on it recently and Pothaholic has actually shut down all of their stores that were available, their online webpage, everything has sort of been taken down and they've cancelled all of their collections so you actually can't buy their journals anymore which is really unfortunate because I have been truly loving their journals um i used the exact same mangosteen pathaholic journal last year as well if you guys have seen my videos you would already know that um but um it's probably why this journal looks so familiar to you guys it's because i really have just been using this again and again that's how much i love these journals obviously everyone has their own preferences when it comes to bullet journals but i really like one that's got a sturdy but slightly flexible hardbound cover and i also what i think what really um spoke to me in terms of the pathaholic journals is that typically most mainstream bullet journaling services or bullet journaling websites and stores um they just sell uh like pastel colored or like autumn fall burgundy colored uh, or color palette themed journals whereas Pothaholic sort of has this display of really bright and funky and patterned journals which is really rare I think if you look at most bullet journaling videos as well you'll notice they all kind of have the same color palette and they rarely have any designs or doodles on them um, this particular journal which comes from the 2018 Mangosteen journal collection there's so many bright vibrant colors and I love how just cute and vibrant the designs are um, which is why I've been getting it again and again. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get it next year, so I'll have to look for another store where I can get my journals from. I've heard really good things about the store called Notebook Therapy, so I might check that out. If you're someone that has used journals from Notebook Therapy, do let me know in the comments down below. Once I was done unboxing the bullet journal, I obviously prepped my very first page for the bullet journal, which was my key. In the last few years, I've had an on and off relationship with a key. Um, basically, I in the last couple of months, I would have an individual key for each month. So I would color code differently per each month. Um, however, this year I decided that at least until January 2025, I would keep four main categories and those will be color coded the exact same throughout the next six months, um, if that makes sense. So I use my my liners just to fill in the little boxes to show what color each category will be categorized as in the next couple of months. Um, obviously, the number of categories is going to vary depending on your personal needs, but for me, um, I just kept it quick and simple into the like four main aspects of my life pretty much and then i used my aqua brush pen or water brush pen which i got from stationery pal my my liners which i also by the way i got them from stationery pal um i used them to sort of create this abstract doodle effect um speaking of if you want any of the journaling supplies that i've used in this video then as always um if you guys have been watching my channel for some time you will know this i have been in love with stationery pal products most of the journaling supplies i use are from them most of the school note-taking supplies i use are also from stationery pal even if it's something as simple as my pencil case it's all just from stationery pal 
which is why if you want any of the things that you see in this video, I would suggest just going down to the description box and clicking on the links that I have attached. You also should know that I have been collaborating with Stationary Pal over the last couple of years. So if you use my code study diary, you actually get 15% off of all your purchases. So if you want to get yourself any back to school products or any journaling supplies, be sure to head over to Stationary Pal's website and use my code now. Typically for the months of June and July, when I sort of think of a color palette or a theme, I lean towards things like citrus fruits and summer vibes like being at the beach. However, this year I've been really focusing on relaxing during the summer, just sort of taking the time off and being really calm in the next couple of months because I've had some really hectic and stressful and just overpacked um, year so far and i'm planning on taking it slow for the next couple of months which is why i decided that my color palette should be calm and it's also very reminiscent of fall that's why it's not actually intentional i wasn't planning on an autumn theme i just kind of went for the colors that were the most relaxing the most subtle and i ended up on i ended up with this um, sienna brown and chrome yellow which i sort of mixed together to make complementing shades I also love how this archway and tree over the archway look turned out. A part of me was debating whether it was a bit too simple for the cover page, but then I ended up actually really enjoying um, how it sort of highlighted the 2024 that was written in the center of it. I also was expecting to use my highlighters more throughout this journaling. Um, spread however um, somewhere halfway through it I guess I sort of realized that I enjoyed um, using the water brush pen because it had been a while since I used it um, even my June bullet journaling video that is out now if you guys haven't seen it yet um, was pre-filmed a couple of months earlier which is why these last couple of months I've just been busy with traveling and I haven't had a lot of time to use my bullet journaling brush pen or to do any sort of art which is why um, I ended up using this brush pen throughout most of the video even a lot of the hand lettering has been done with this water pen just because I liked um, the creative liberty that sort of comes with using watercolor paint. And once I was done with the cover page, I moved on to my next page, which was the future log. Um, since I'm already uh, pretty aware that this bullet journal will be over by the time I reach January, I decided that my future log will only consist of the upcoming six months, um, which is from July to from July to January. That is. Um, so I drew six tags and I used my gold pen to sort of draw the lines. I thought that the gold complemented the um, burnt sienna brown and chrome yellow color palette very well. Um, so I used my pilot gold pen, which I'm not sure if it's available on Stationery Pal's website anymore, but Stationery Pal had some pretty cool metallic color pen sets as well. However, if you don't want to go to Stationery Pal and if you don't want to get the metallic color set, you can just get this pilot choose 07 pen from any drugs from any like dollar store or convenience store near you. Beneath the six calendars, I drew boxes where I could write down important notes and information about each of the upcoming months. I then filled in the dates on each of the calendars. Once I was done filling down the dates on my calendars, I decided to write the months on top of the tags and then I moved on to my next page which is my goals page. Um, I was debating over creating a content creating ideas page but I realized saving up one page for that would not be enough just because I come up with random brainstorming. I have these random brainstorming sessions at any point in time so I decided to just create a simple classic goals page. 
I had a, like I made sure to not have too many goals just because that would be a lot of added pressure and would result in a lot more procrastination um, and I decided to create more tangible sort of goals um, and keep the list as simple and as short as I possibly can. Also, I'm sorry if my camera seems blurry once in a while. Um, for some reason, when I filmed this video, my camera was having some autofocusing issues, um, which is why the video sort of gets blurry every once in a while. Once I was done with the goals page, I decided to sort of cut um, the next page to create like a halfway page. I forgot what these were called um, and make like this outer tab that stuck out a bit. Um, the reason why is because I was going to make a reset page. Now, if you've seen any of my journaling videos before, you might know what a reset page is. It's basically where I write down my ideal routine for the morning as well as the evening. So like a.m. and p.m. Uh, and this is just something that I like looking back on throughout the year just to sort of know what are the important things that I like to check off or like what is the ideal checklist that I have for my morning and night routines. It really is essentially a morning and night routine except it's written down on paper and it just has the utmost important things. So it might not necessarily have everything I do at night or at the morning but it does have the things that I prioritize the most. So I begin filling in my um, goals using, again, another one of the Pilot pens. Um, if you've noticed, most of the pens I use are either from Pilot or from Muji, and that's because I love how these pens do not stain or bleed through the paper. Um, as it is, this bullet journal is of really high quality, so a lot of um, inks don't bleed through anyways, but I love how the Pilot and Muji pens won't bleed through even um, sensitive or thinner papers. And then I was done filling in my AM and PM, otherwise known as morning and evening routine, otherwise known as reset page. Uh, and I was done with my spread for the 2024 mid-year bullet journal setup. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed how this bullet journaling spread turned out. Um, and if you guys are op opening or starting your mid-year bullet journals as well, um, do tag me in your bullet journaling spreads and let me know down in the comments below how it went for you. I will see you guys next time.